yo wa bon ta men masasui alokach working with the abenaki language is a huge opportunity it's something that i welcomed with open arms it was something that I felt was a responsibility as a native actor. Abenaki, come to me. <laughs> I had to learn a whole new language for this show. We're learning Western Abenaki. It's tough, but we have a great uh, teacher, a great uh, dialect coach, and he's really putting his all into it. Western Abenaki is an amalgamation, really, of all of the New England native languages from Massachusetts up into Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, parts of New York. Uh, as people were displaced over about a 200-year period, different communities would come together and uh, different parts of the languages kind of uh, coalesced and created what we have today, which is still a spoken language. Uh, it's been passed down from one generation to the next. Very few people still speak it, and there are now several dialects. I have really relied as an actor very much on the language to allow my character to come forth. And this particular language is quite amazing because working with Jesse, we work not only in learning phonetics and then of course memorizing, but we also work within breaking down all the sentences into syntax. Jesse's been really probably one of the most amazing language coaches that I've worked with. The pronunciation came first, was to get the pattern, the international pattern of the language down and the cadence is solid, Massasoit um, instead of Massasoit, which is the way we'd say it in English. So we worked that first. That was the first thing we did was get the, the music musicality down of the language. Kinamun. 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 Ki? Kiwar. Kinamun. 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 Guachli. Yes. Guachli. Kinamun. Kinamun. We actually know what we're saying and we constantly rehearse with one another to make sure that we are actually speaking to one another and understanding what what we're saying to one another and not just waiting for a cue. It seemed impossible when I saw how much how much of this movie is going to be in the Abenaki language. But I'm just, uh, every day I'm just so uh, pleasantly surprised these guys are professionals. I had one line that was Let's teach them how to farm here. It's not a literal translation. It's a different point of view. It literally means, let us speak to them so they can know how to work the earth. That's, it's poetic, but aside from the beauty of it, it's a different perspective of what it means to farm. Let us talk to them, not teach them, let us speak with them so that they know how to work the earth. That's profound because the language is a huge, huge part of an opportunity to really tell the story. Zika gui pa the walls in it. Wad in so, kaz wan ao. Kan wa, tzigik neo zi, koni kadak. We're still surviving. Our language is still surviving. That's the beautiful thing about this project. It makes me proud um, to uh, to be to be speaking the language. And you know, it's for the for the young people. You know, we want want the young people to see this and and to be inspired to speak their own language.